to show you how I trim the fringe on these freestanding lace stockings. So there's three steps to this design. There is the red stocking area. It could be any color you want. Then there are three rows of fringe right here. One, two, three. Um, this top one is not a fringe row. That is a satin stitch that holds the top area all together. It holds those fringe rows down, and it also provides a covering for the hanger of the stocking, which happens to be the earring hanger. So this is not a fringe row, so I do not want you to worry about trimming the threads on the back side of that row. But the rows underneath it, one, two, three rows of satin stitching right here, those are actually fringe rows on each of the stockings. And so what I'm gonna do is work on the back of the hoop and I wanted to flip this around and show you how that worked. So I've got these three rows of fringe and I left the bobbin thread to be red during the fringe step um, and that was left over from the front. And that way I can kind of see where I have red and this that red will need to be trimmed away. Okay, so I'm just using my seam ripper to go through that row and kind of set the fringe loops free from the bobbin. And then I will um, use my fingers on the front side of this to release the stitching from the other side and, and get that nice and fluffy on the other side. So I, I can use scissors or something else with a tiny point. I'm just using my seam ripper here to go through these channels. Um, while I'm holding the camera, it's a little awkward, but I wanted you to see how I did this. This is generally how I do it. I just go through those three rows, not the top row. I'm gonna leave that alone. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this other stocking. I'm just starting at the edge, kind of wiggling in there, the point of my seam ripper. And I'm gonna go through and slice the bobbin thread I'm hoping that the bobbin threads, see how that lets the fringe area free right there? Um, that's what I need to do. It doesn't take long. This is much easier to do while your, your earrings are still hooped. So if you're gonna use the rest of this to make more, you have the opportunity to do that. Um, I'm just gonna let the fringe go first because I have the tightness from the stabilizer being held by the hoop to help me out here. Okay, that was two rows. Now let's do the top row. I can put my seam ripper in there. Any really thin pointy things will do. And I'm using the pointy end of the seam ripper. Normally when we're seam ripping, we're you know running this way, but I am using that pointy part of the seam ripper for this step. Okay, and see how I've gotten the fluff, those three rows of fluff away. So I have some edges now and I can see the backing of the stocking that was underneath. And um, I, you know, I'm just doing as much as I can on this side. Now I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, here's the front. And now I'm gonna take something else. I can use the seam ripper. I'm gonna use the back of the point. I'm not using the front of the point, but I'm just gonna fluff this up. Okay, so do you see how those stitches are just releasing? because I set them free from the bobbin thread on the back side, and now they're up at the front and they're fluffing out, okay? So once they fluffed all to the front, um, you can use your fingernail, you can use something pokier like this or like a stiletto, a porcupine quill or a chopstick may work as well. What I want to make sure is that I'm not actually penetrating the stabilizer and <clears throat> I'm not um, I'm not cutting any of the other threads on the stitching. So I don't want to compromise my freestanding lace piece at all. I want it to hold together once it's out of the hoop completely. But I do want to set this fringe free here. Okay, so I've got a lot of that out and hopefully see all this well I don't know if you can see it all but I have a little pile of fluff that has fallen off the back side and that's just these bobbin threads coming out if you have issues with the way that looks you could take some scissors and kind of trim some of that fluff away on the back um, the other thing that may work well for you is to use like a quick little zap of the, a lighter <clears throat> this one's running out of juice but that'll kind of neaten things up on the back for you really quickly you don't want to hold it down too long because you'll melt 
the rest of your earring and you don't want to do that. You want it to stay together. So I just do that really quickly just to get some of that fluff off, make it look nicer on the back. But here's the front. And so now I'm ready to wash away the stabilizer on these stockings. That's all there is to it. It doesn't take very long. I think the stitching time on my single needle machine is less than 20 minutes for this design. So go make some of these up and um, wear them for the holidays. They're super fun and I know you'll enjoy making some fringe fluffy cuff stockings. Thanks for watching. Okay, now that your stockings are done, I've, I've removed most of the stabilizer from around the edges and I'm simply going to drop them in a bowl of warm water. This is going to dissolve most of the stabilizer from around the edge of the stocking. You can leave it in here for a little bit. Um, I like to just kind of rinse and get the bulk of it off <clears throat> without fussing too much. And then there, there's still a little tiny bit of the stabilizer in, but it's not much. Um, and if I didn't say it before, one thing that you uh, should think about is that if you're using embroidery thread, you want to make sure you're using polyester embroidery thread. Red embroidery thread, especially rayon, may run. So use the polyester embroidery thread. All right, after you've taken them out of the water, you can simply dry them on paper towels and leave them to dry. I do like to fluff up the fringe just a bit while they're drying so it doesn't dry flat and squish down. And um, you can do any kind of trimming um, that you'd like to and get the rest of the threads even and just the way you'd like. I do see some red bits that I do want to trim there, but they're ready for me to add hardware. Okay, now that my earrings are done and I've trimmed up all the loose threads that I'd like to trim, I'm simply gonna apply my earring hardware. I like these earrings that have a little clasp on them so they're super easy to attach to my earring. I simply let the little claw grab the loop, give it a little squeeze, making sure it's in there, and they're done. Easy peasy. Uh, the link to these um, earring hardware pieces is on Amazon and it's in the listing description for these freestanding lace fringe stocking earrings. So let me know if that helps. I hope you enjoy making these lots of fringe earrings for the holiday season. And um, I hope that these bring you lots of joy and lots of fun. Thanks for watching.